Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. Let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Sports Authority of India was set up in which of the following years? The correct answer is B, 1984. Moving on. Recently, the NHRC issued notices to the Sports Ministry and Sports Authority of India on an issue. SAI was set up in 1984 to carry forward the legacy of the 9th Asian Games held in New Delhi in 1982. SAI was set up as a society registered of Societies Act 1860. Recently, the term sauropod was in the news. It is related to a dinosaur's family. So, A is going to be the correct answer. Researchers from University of Delhi have discovered a unique set of fossilized dinosaur eggs with one egg nesting within the other. While eggs within eggs are a rare phenomenon, they are so far known to occur only in birds and never known in reptiles. This time, Egg in egg phenomenon is found in a titanosaurid dinosaur egg at Pag in Madhya Pradesh's Dhar district. Dinosaurs of sauropod family were among the largest land animals that ever lived and widespread millions of years ago in the territory that is now India. In which of the following state, Doi Shire Mela is organized? West Bengal is the correct answer, B is the correct option over here. Recently, some elderly devotees died. Due to heat and humidity at religious fair Doi Chiremela in West Bengal, the fair is held at a temple of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness in Panihati, North 24 Parganas. This fair is celebrated on the banks of River Hugli every year to mark the arrival of Sri Chaitanya Dev from Puri on the way to his abode at Navadweep. At which place 12th World Trade Organization Ministerial Conference is being organized? Geneva is the correct answer. The 12th WTO Ministerial Conference is being held in Geneva, Switzerland after a gap of almost five years. Agriculture, fisheries, WTO reforms, response to the pandemic will be the key area of negotiations. The Indian delegation is being headed by the Union Minister for Commerce and Industry, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution and Textiles. The previous conference was held at Bueno Aires. Recently, Batsagan Temple was in the news. It is situated in Mongolia is the correct answer. Four holy relics of Lord Buddha are being taken from India to Mongolia for an 11-day exposition as a part of the celebrations of Mongolian Buddha Purnima falling on 14 June 2022. The holy relics will be displayed at the Batsagan temple within the premises of Gandhan Monastery in Mongolia. The holy Buddha relics currently housed in the National Museum are known as the Kapilavastu relics. They were discovered from a site in Bihar in 1898, which is believed to be the ancient city of Kapilvastu. Which of the following freedom fighter of India is known as Maniam Virudu? The correct answer is Aluri Sitaram Raju. Union Minister of Culture recently reviewed the preparations being made for commemoration of the 125th birth anniversary of Sri Aluri Sitaram Raju. 4th July 2022 marks the 125th birth anniversary of the revolutionary freedom fighter Sri Aluri Sitaram Raju. He was an Indian revolutionary actively involved in the Indian freedom struggle. Born 4th of July 1897, he is revered across the states of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Odisha and Karnataka as Maniam Virudu or the hero of the jungle. He also led Rampa freedom struggle from August 1922 to May 1924. Moving on, consider the following statements regarding the State Food Safety Index 2122. It is released by the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. It's released on an annual basis. We have to select the correct statement or statements. Both are correct. C is the correct answer. Recently, the FSSAI released fourth edition of the State Food Safety Index 2122. The SFSI is released annually for a financial year. According to FSSAI, the index is aimed at encouraging states and union territories to improve their performance and work towards establishing a proper food safety ecosystem. The index is stopped by Tamil Nadu in large states. Goa in small states, Jammu and Kashmir in Union territories. Recently, Red Flag Bill was in the news. It's related to which of the following countries? United States of America is the correct answer. Recently, the US House of Representatives passed a Red Flag Bill also called the Federal Extreme Risk Protection Order. It was aimed at barring those considered dangerous to themselves or others from possessing firearms. The Extreme Risk Protection Laws Known informally as red flag, laws are among the possible solutions offered to tackle the gun violence in USA. 
these laws allow courts to issue a special protection order which authorizes the police to temporarily confiscate guns from people that display concerning behavior. The first red flag law was introduced in Connecticut in 1999. Consider the following statements regarding omnibus law. It is Indonesia's job creation law. It aims to remove the red tapism, improve the investment climate, creating jobs. As we have to select the correct statement or statements, both are correct, C is the correct answer. Indonesia's parliament is set to revisit a contentious job creation law to comply with a court order to fix procedural flaws during its 2020 passage. The so-called omnibus law was Indonesian President Joko Widodo's flagship legislation, revising over 70 existing laws. This law was passed with the aim of removing red tape, improving the investment climate, and creating jobs in Southeast Asia's largest economy. Labor organizations, student groups, and environmentalists have complained that the law was too pro-business. It also weakened protection for workers and the environment. What is Ramsey-Hunt syndrome? The correct answer is, it's a neurological disease caused by virus. So recently in the news, it's a neurological disease which, in which a virus called varicella zoster causes inflammation of the nerves involved in facial movements. Patients also report hearing loss in the ear that has been impacted apart from tinnitus or ringing sound. It causes weakness of one side of the face and causes difficulty in closing one eye and eating. There is drooping of the face also. Which of the following dynasty was the first dynasty to grant land to religious people? Satvahanas are the correct answer. From the 1st century BC, the king started granting lands to religious people. The Satvahana kings of the Deccan were the first ones to do so. Contemporary to the Sakas were the Satvahanas in the Deccan. The Satvahana family laid the foundation of the first monarchical polity in Deccan in the postmodern period. Let's look at the practice question for the next segment. Recently, a place Tapachula was in the news. It is located in Mongolia, Myanmar, Nepal, Mexico. Answer it correctly. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.